Wait a moment. This isn't a furry visual novel. Hello everyone, Nary here from Drakewing Gamers. If you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon, today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Liar. So the last place we left off, um, Leuven and Lyle had their moment in the middle of the ballroom, and everyone was staring at them, commenting about a, uh, a beast, uh, a beast man being with a uh, being with a human. So apparently that's that's frowned upon. Uh, yeah, <laughs> apparently that's frowned upon in this particular part of the world. And well, uh, we went out the little secret exit, and Leuven found Prince Adrius. Uh, talking to the statue of his mother. So, we're gonna pick up right back where we left off, guys. Please enjoy and sit back. I'll maintain you for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right into it. Alarm chain, you are up. Okay, and also, apparently, there's a very raunchy scene coming up I may have to edit, so, okay. Alrighty. Everyone kept looking at me, and a few people actually questioned me about it. I'm sorry for leaving you there. I just really didn't want to be around anyone after that. I don't know how to feel, but everything just seems so confusing. I really do like you, though. I see a small glimmer of a smile on his face. Leuven, it's fine. I know. He takes the blanket and wraps it around my shoulders. Let's go back to the castle. Even the Vitality Lanterns, it's too cold out here. Okay. He leads me to the tunnel and I look back towards the direction of the fountain. Adrius is probably still sitting there. Something wrong? No. I just have a lot on my mind. He opens the door to the tunnel and leads me down the stairs. Yeah, me too. <laughs> he lowers the door and it closes with a resounding thud. I can hear him locking the door and then a few seconds later he gently takes my paw in his hand. My, my hand in his paw. He takes my hand in his paw. <laughs> Not my paw in his hand. Oh. Oh. Oh, what's that? No, okay. No, okay. After leaving the tunnel we walk down the corridors for a bit. Ugh! What is it? We're going to have to pass by the ballroom to get back to my my room, right? Oh, <clears throat> yes. We could. Hmm. What? We could go to my bedchambers for a bit. Oh, it's not far from here, and we won't run into anyone. Sure. But only if you want to. That sounds nice. I have a really, I have a really nice fireplace in my room, too. The servants have probably already lit it, so it should be nice and warm. So if you're okay with it this way, if you're okay with it, it's this way. Lyle! Yes? I said it was fine. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I get carried away sometimes. Hey, it's fine. I'm not bothered by it. He takes my hand and leads me down a hallway. I think I've been down, I think I've been, been down before. I can't believe I haven't seen his room yet. I should have, that should have, that should be a good place to talk about what's happened. We arrived at a door, and he fumbles with his keys. Sorry. He finds the right key and unlocks the door. Warm air rushes into my face as he holds the door open for me. Oh, wow. My senses immediately get overrun by the color red. He steps past me as I stand by the doorway and walks over to his bedside table. Lots of red. Oh, man. It looks like a, this looks like a noble's, a noble's bedroom. Oh, yes. I love red. It's my favorite color. Really? I mean, can't you tell? <laughs> of course. Of course. I like it because it's warm and vibrant. It's also just nice to look at. I watch him fumble with some things on his dresser and take this and <clears throat> take this moment to look around. The fireplace is really nice, and I can feel the warmth of the fire wrapping around my legs. Above the mantle is a big painting. It's a dynamic portrait of a wolf warrior shrouded in a hood. He looks a bit like Lyle, but his fur is more of a reddish color. Sparks fly up around his figure, and the painting almost looks almost looks menacing. I turn my gaze down and notice a brush sitting next on sitting on the mantle. There's a few long hairs sticking out of it. I guess this is what Lyle used to tame that mane of his. I put down the brush and explore the other side of the room. Lyle seems pretty occupied right now. I see him throwing a bunch of stuff into a drawer. I didn't notice until I got closer, but his bed is massive. It's probably a normal size for him, but to me it's huge. So is everything. The fact that it's a canopy bed doesn't help. I'm pretty sure this room and everything in it was built for a larger was built for larger animals. I look over to Lyle to see what's behind him. Are those your drawings? Um, yeah. They're like they're just sketches though. Nothing really great to look at. I lean around and take a look at some of the drawings. Oh wow! Lyle, these are really good. <laughs> Thanks. 
He steps to the side, and I walk up to the wall where his drawings are. Each one is an intricate sketch. Paws, flowers, there's even a drawing of a mountain landscape. Closer to the bottom is a self-portrait. I can imagine Lyle sitting in front of a mirror drawing himself. I don't think I could do that. I've never been that artistically inclined. He's smiling in the portrait and looks really cute. On the table is a couple sketchbooks, some coins and a dagger stuck into a spot where I can see he's stabbed it multiple times. I think back to people in brothels throwing their knives into the bar counter out of boredom. There's also some lit candles that aren't even in candle hand candle holders. Their wax spills out onto the top of the dresser and dries up. I guess he's a bit of a slob. The one part that stands out the most, though, is the large piece of parchment. There's a map of, t of Tigran drawn on it. It's extremely detailed right down to every village. There's a bunch of red marks on it. What are those for? I point to one of the marks. Oh, those. Those are, um... Those are all the places I want to go. Like the other kingdom... Like the other... Like the other two kingdoms in Nero's clearing. I also really want to go here. He points to a place on the map that's just above Aaron. I've heard that this river is beautiful during the summer. I've been there before. The Lord's Bend is a beautiful river. I didn't get to see much of it, though, but from what I saw, it's nice. He guides his finger down to an island off the coast of Driss. Have you ever been here? I take a closer look, but I instantly know what he's looking at. The Parched Labyrinth? No, I can't say I have. Like, like you, I've only been to places nearer just outside of Aaron. Although, I've heard that it's very dangerous there. I'm pretty sure it's an almost un uninhabitable jungle. I want to go there someday, just to see it. Maybe one day your duties will take you there. You never know. He stares at the map with a dreamy look in his eyes. I hope so. I look through the other spots that he's marked, and one stands out to me. Lover's Lake? Huh? Oh, <clears throat> yes. I wanted to see that lake eventually, because it's shaped like a heart. He looks down at the ground and sits on the bed, letting out a big sigh. I'm sorry for earlier. Lyle, I said you don't have to apologize. Nope. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, I, I, I messed up. Okay. Eh, whatever. <clears throat> Lyle, I said you don't have to apologize. No, I do. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have even pried. I didn't know that people would be listening. That's what a conversation... That was a conversation we should have had here before. It's me who should be apologizing. I shouldn't have been so, you know... But I swear, I had no idea about that stigma of interspecies relationships. I believe you. But yes, interspecies relationships are a bit of a taboo and liar. Most of the general public finds it a bit weird. In some cases, it's, it's acceptable, but a human and a wolf? Forget it. We'd be laughing stock of the entire kingdom. Wow. I had no idea it was like that. The word of liar doesn't spread much outside the kingdoms, and it's definitely nothing like that in Aaron. Really? Of course. It's completely normal. Even with a large human population, people still fall in love with other species. No kidding? <laughs> he falls back onto his bed and sighs. <sighs> I have to get out of this kingdom. Speaking of kingdom, what about the party? Uh, shouldn't you be doing your job there? Not that I'm not enjoying the company. His tail swishes between his legs, rubbing up against the bedsheets. Nah, I got someone to cover for me. It's fine. For just a moment, all that can be heard is the fireplace. The crackling of the logs and the dancing of the flames. You know... You never did answer my question. Hmm? He sits up in his bed, and we're now at eye level. What were you hoping I would respond with? Uh, oh. Um, uh, it's okay. You probably already know how I feel about you. It's painfully obvious. I feel my throat tighten as these next words come out. Yeah, your throat will be tightening a bit more in a few minutes, probably. <laughs> I don't care what anybody thinks. I only care about what you think. Because as far as I'm concerned, you're the only person I genuinely care about. I love you, Lyle. Everything about you. His eyes widen and I can feel myself getting nervous. That taste hits the back of my throat that usually happens when I'm on an adrenaline rush or when I'm scared. I wouldn't have made it through the past month without you. And damn everyone in this castle and their prejudice. My hands are fidgeting and I catch myself intertwining my fingers together. My legs are shaking and I feel like I'm about to vomit. If you don't want to be together because of what people might think, I understand. I could care less about my reputation, but I wouldn't want to damage yours. If that's the way it has to be, then... 
Yep. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the music picks up. I knew it. Before I know it, her lips have met. He's passionately kissing me. My heart skips a beat and I freeze up. His lips are warm and pressed firmly into mine. I kiss him back and soon we're lustfully embracing each other. I exhale out my nose and wrap my arms around him. I'm now sitting on top of him as he leans back further onto the bed. His tongue slowly works its way past my lips and I succumb to his desires. There's no holding back as we explore each other. I can feel his sharp teeth on my mouth and it feels weird but good. His slightly wet nose presses against mine and I feel a puff of my breath on my face. We both open our eyes and pull back to take a breath. He envelops me in a tight hug and pulls me down onto the bed. His warm embrace feels too good, and as I hug him back, I lose myself in his warmth. I'm grinning ear to ear, and I feel myself lost in passionate thoughts. The sound of his tail rapidly thumping against the bed is pure bliss. He tightens his grip and kisses me on the forehead. I love you, Leuven. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. I feel the exact same way. I roll over on top of him and give him another kiss. It's not as long as the one before, but he enjoys it just as much. Oh! What is it? Hmm, someone's excited. He nods down to my groin, and I finally realize that I'm almost fully erect, tinted and somewhat jabbing him in the stomach. He's smirking at me with bedroom eyes, and I get a bit flustered. <laughs> I guess you're just a really good kisser. I am? His tail wags more, thumping against the bed. I move my hand down to his crotch and slowly rub his bulge. Bulgy, bulgy. No! <laughs> I can't ruin, I'm not gonna ruin this moment, fuck. It's big, just like I remember it being. He's not erect like me, but he's getting there. This elicits a slight whimper from him. I honestly expected a moan. <sighs> Something wrong? It's just, you think I forgot what happened in the baths that one time? This causes him to turn completely red in the face. It's not like that. I, I was just taking a bath. Don't you want to give me another show? He lets out a quiet noise of embarrassment before answering. Yes. After that, I take off his jacket and shirt. His large, muscular chest is now fully visible. Each pectoral is thick and makes him look powerful. He helps me a little bit by taking off his gloves, and then we get to his pants. I get down on my knees and he, as he sits on the bed and start to undo his belt. I rub my hand over his furry lower stomach as I pull his belt out through his loops. A wide grin appears on his face and he even starts to kick his leg a little bit. Yeah, guys, I'm probably going to have to censor a, bit, a little bit of what's coming up. Grabbing both sides of his trousers and his underwear, I begin to pull them down. Yep! Yep, 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 yep. That's a penis. <laughs> his, uh, his you-know-what almost flops out and rests between his thick thighs. Mmm, thick thighs, I like those. His large furry balls <laughs> also lay between his legs on the bed. Wow. <laughs> Are you okay with, um... I'm gonna give it a pause right here so I can... For, uh, so I can... A little, uh, little spot for an ad. Lyle, you're gorgeous. His tail is now thumping loudly against the mattress. Thank you. I move my hand on his thigh, cup his, yeah, and cup his uh, tennis balls before moving up to his uh, something. <laughs> it's warm and girthy. His body jumps a bit at my touch, so I go a bit lower. I lean in and rub my face up against his. Yep, feeling it twitch at just the slightest bit of pressure. I look up and see him rubbing one of his nipples. <laughs> you really pent up, huh? <laughs> Only a little. I haven't done this in a long time. That's okay. I'll go whatever pace you want. Nope! <laughs> this is, yep, is now fully, yep, mm -hmm, in my hands, yep. It stands at a little over 7 inches and is probably one of the thickest I've ever seen. Nothing I can't handle a little getting used to, though. His, uh, lollipop is already throbbing and leaking sugar a bit. I lean in and he look the yep. Oh, I'll rub my face against his groin. Jesus Christ, Leuven. He smells clean, like just like like he just bathed. But there's a hint of a manly smell that sends my senses sky high. My hands move to his a yep as I play with him slightly lightly. I can feel myself looking at my hands, and I realize that I'm really pent up too. I lean in and place my Jesus. Yep. He has his paw on my head, and I can feel him thrust into me slightly. His tail is swishing side to side, and when I look up, I can see him biting his lip with his head with his head back. He lays down onto his back, and I reach up and grab one of his pecs. I give him a good rub down and tease his nipple, which makes him arc his arc just a little his back a little. Leuven. He sits up and removes his paw from my head. I stop sucking and pull away from his. Uh, yep. Y yeah. 
I want to see you. See me what? No, I mean, I want to see you. Oh. Can I... He goes to unbutton my coat and a chill runs down my spine. I feel his big paws are up and down my body as he takes off my clothes. I'm shirtless at this point and he starts to go up and down my torso, planting kisses on the bare, on the bare skin. He leans back and unbuttons my pants, allowing my yep to come out. It's still completely uh, yep. He pulls my pants down and I step out of them, throwing them into the small pile of clothes we made. If I, if, yeah, so the, if I'm not saying certain words, it's so that the algorithm or whatever the uh, bot doesn't pick that up and censor and like age gate the video. I'm gonna be uh, probably uh, blocking out these some uh, some uh, some some words and such. You know how it goes. I've done this before. <sighs> I watch him look me up and down. His gaze falling on me like I, like this makes like this makes me a bit shy. I spread my arms out to the sides as if to show off my body. I'm not as big as you, but Lu Luvin, you're beautiful. I can feel my cheeks flush a deep red after he says this. I watch him reach forward and run his paw over one of my scars. Whoa. How did you get these? Oh, it's nothing important. He chuckles. What? I guess you're just as scruffy as me. He runs his finger over his scar. <laughs> he stands up and we both fall into a soft embrace. His paws run up and down my back as he gently caresses me. I rub my hands all throughout his soft mane and practically bury my face into his neck fluff. Yep, those uh, popsicles rub against each other. <coughs> oh, goodness. Hmm, something's got my allergies going today. Each other. That is, and it makes me feel a pure bliss. I reach around and grab a good bit of his ass. Yep. It's causing him to jump a bit, but he quickly warms up to it. Lal steps back and takes me by the hands, leading me to the bed. He throws back the curtains a bit and pushes me onto the bed. I fall back lightly onto the large mattress and bounce around for a second. His large figure looms over me like a shadow. Oh! Ooh, look at them eyes. Lyle's on his paws and knees, looking into my eyes, smirking with a mischievous grin on his face. Oh, hello, new thumbnail. He leans forward and plants another long kiss on my lips before pulling back and looking down at my... something. Behind him, I can see his tail wagging back and forth really fast. He bends down and starts to... Yep. His mouth feels amazing around me. Yep, and he looks up and down. Yep. At one point, he even grabs, grabs his paw around it while he and takes my paws in his other paw. Yep, Jesus Christ. I my back and lean back onto the bed in pure ecstasy. I feel him release me from his mouth with a gasp. Alright, I'm pause it. Very a woo, Leuven. Yeah? I say this through pleasurable grunts. Oh, I want you inside me. Quickly sit up from the bed. Uh, huh? I'm completely capable of taking you. I mean, we don't have to if you would rather me. Hey, Lyle. He looks up at me. I'm fine with doing whatever you want. You get to choose. Really? Of course. He quickly crawls around on the bed and positions himself behind me. I feel his paws on my shoulders as he lays me down onto the bed. My head is now at the end of the bed. Watch him clumsily lean over toward his dresser and pull out a jar from the top drawer. His bad dragon. <laughs> he hands it to me and I open the lid. Exactly what I thought it was. The jar is full of lubricant with a few small finger marks that have run, run through it. It smells like flowers and other pleasant natural oils. I run my fingers through it and I get a nice amount. At this point, he's already straddled me. He's being he's being careful to not put his full weight on my body. He feels as for me against my yep, and I'm convinced it would be enough to make me climax, but I hold myself back. At that moment, he spreads his and looks way and looks away bashfully. Reaching around, I rub the outside of his hole with my fingers. The lubricant is cold, but it soon warms up. After massaging the outside of his hole with my fingers, I slowly start to yep. Well, it's a bit tight, but not enough to make this too difficult. Lubricant helps too. After hanging with my fingers for a few more moments, I rub the rest rub the rest of it on my yep. Ready? Please. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. So much censoring has to be done. No, no, no. Yep, okay. And two, because... Oh, God, I have to do so much editing. He's hurting on my hands with his soft thighs, squeezing my torso with his ass rubbing against my groin. I place, I place one of my hands on his thighs and I grab his balls with the other. I can tell he likes this because his, because his eyes stare into mine with absolute lust. I feel myself getting close, too. He grabs his dick in his right ball and starts to rub himself. He drops it. Right, yep. Wow, that was quick. Hold hands around. Yeah, God, I can't say most of this. 
I grip his sides and arch my back. In this case, we're gonna... Oof. Faster. Where's the count? Yep. I can't say most of this. I just can't say most of this. <laughs> Those infects. Yeah, Jesus. Oh! Oh, Lord. Oh, man. Please be kind to be algorithm. Okay. I love you, Leuven. He smiles at me with a grin that always makes my heart skip a beat. I love you too, Lyle. Okay, God, I'm going to have to blur out so much. So much I'm going to have to blur out. It's been a few minutes since I romp in the sheets and we're laying next to each other holding hands. Alright, I'm going to think I'm going to pause it right there. Wow, what an episode. Whew. Oh, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, my God. You're probably not going to be able to see most of what goes on in this because I'm going to have to blur quite a bit, but you can use your imagination. Oh, Lord, that was hot. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!